Duke and Kentucky square off in a marquee matchup early season, and Cooper Flag they were running for a play for him right out of the gates, and that shows you what they think about him. The 17-year-old finishing a lob early, and now we have two minutes and change left in this game. Kentucky is up by two. He gets the hoop plus the harm and and one to give Duke the lead, so he was shining, but then in the final 20 seconds, he maybe more looked like a 17-year-old out there, right? I mean, it was 72-72. He loses the ball. It ends up getting taken the other way for what ends up being the game changing points right there Kentucky up 74 72 he gets the ball again he's trying to do a little too much again he is a 17 year old he loses the ball so Kentucky will win the game he had a fantastic game but I think this sums it up well he's amazing he's a great young player but he is young at the end of the day he skipped his senior year he's 17 years old he's a freshman he's naturally trying to do a little too much when they're closing the games trying to force something and he had two turnovers so yes he didn't play well in the final minute more specifically the final 20 seconds but he did have 26 points and 12 rebounds in front of 70 NBA scouts as a 17 year old I don't think anyone is changing their minds on Cooper Flag after tonight Kirk Carissa of Kentucky was talking earlier this week and he was saying the whole world is talking about Cooper Flag excited to play against the number one overall draft pick congrats to him on getting that already so kind of sarcastically saying something so he he was poking the bear a little bit. Kentucky, they can say what they want because they came away with a win, but despite the last two possessions, it was a very impressive game by Cooper Flagg.